Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So today I'm super excited because I will be baking a very, very, very special cake which is mine and my husband's favorite cake. And we were recently introduced to this cake last year by my friend. And luckily she is here with me today and she will be guiding me how to bake this cake. It is called Tres Leches. And recently even in India it got super famous because of Alia Bhatt. And in recent interview Alia Bhatt said that she loves this cake. It is called a milk cake which is available in London. And there's this particular cake that I'm obsessed with um, in London from um, a cafe, Leto. It's a milk cake. And it is actually called Tres Leches by the way. So we are going to make this famous cake today at home. Let's start with today's video. So here's my friend Nikita. She is going to help me out. She is the master chef, <laughs> no. head chef. I'm her sous chef today. She will be guiding me through. We have all our ingredients out. <laughs> By the way, she's not feeling well. She got really bad sore throat. So she's not going to speak because she needs to take precautions. <laughs> right? Yes. So let's start, Nikita. Let's. I'm so excited. Guys, she's <laughs> the one who made this cake by the way when we visited her place and she was like oh i'm gonna bake you guys this cake uh, i hope you guys will like it and we ate it we were like what <laughs> what is this cake we never tried it now let me tell you the ingredients that you will need to bake this cake so if you have large eggs five would do we have like medium eggs so we are using six eggs you'll need whipping cream fresh whipping cream You'll need, because it's a milk cake, you'll need evaporated milk, you'll need sweetened condensed milk, and regular milk. You'll need baking powder, all-purpose flour, vanilla essence, butter, a baking dish. So this is a nine inches baking tray that you will need. This is the ideal size. I would say if you're making this cake, try to make it in a bigger dish. Yeah. <laughs> because nobody will be able to resist <laughs> eating this. And you'll need this. What is, what is this just called? for sifting the flour. Okay, so this one you'll need to sift the flour. Measuring spoons, measuring cup, salt, not the other masalas, just the salt. Fresh strawberries if you have, and I think that's it. Oh, sugar. Oh, yeah. You'll need sugar as well. <laughs> okay, let's start. Preheat the oven, bake. We just have to preheat it. Okay. And once it's done, then we will put the cake to okay. bake. So we, yeah, we can start, start. right? Once it's at 350, generally the ovens will make some noise to let us know. So then it, we, we know that it is pre, uh, preheated. It's the first time that I am baking, so I am so glad <laughs> Nikita is here. I'm taking a little butter. This much is good? Yeah. So my friend said this is like... Right away. You don't need to melt it because with the heat of your hands, it uh -huh. will melt anyway. Yeah. It's messy, it's but at the same time, uh -huh. it feels like you know you're doing something, like you're a professional. You don't care. <laughs> I have applied butter to the dish, kept the dish at the side. Okay. Now we need to mix the dry ingredients. Yeah. So for the dry ingredients, first what we'll take, we'll take one cup all-purpose flour. I'm going to take a small mixing bowl and we'll add the all-purpose, one cup all-purpose. Mm -hmm. One and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Just a little bit, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Yeah. So you're gonna whisk the dry ingredient. So now why we do this is because, um, you know, we just need to make sure that it's very smooth. Now we are done with the dry ingredients. Okay. Now we have to uh, go to the next wet, making the wet ingredients. And okay. later we mix everything together okay. to make the so like final batter. We need to make the wet ingredients. Now we're going to take eggs and we need this mixing bowl, right? So just for anyone who does not have uh, the machine, yeah. So Kirat has like a really nice machine, right? But for anyone who does not, we don't need to have this machine. If you have a hand mixy, you know the hand mixy, uh, you, like... I think like you have it in India, you have it here. It's very like, it's not very expensive also. So you can use that, okay? Just to for the actual whisking of the eggs that okay. we are going to do now. Okay. So don't worry if you don't I don't have, have that, but I have this machine. So I'm going to use this machine, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. So now we have to separate the egg yolks okay. and the egg whites. So we'll put the egg yolks first in this and the egg whites here. So I'm taking a smaller bowl. This is what I do. If you can see, I try to keep the yolk in the oh. cover, right? So in this way, what happens is it's easier and yeah. I try to remove whatever white I can. 
Again, now I'll take it in my hand, Ooh. like this, try to remove whatever I can, then put it in the other one. Let's see. So I'm gonna break this. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. And probably the yolk will be here. Yes. White out as much as you can. Oh, just like this. Yeah. <gasps> Gooey. Guys, whenever I'm cooking, I'm in the kitchen. Chico would be around. He wants to just be in the kitchen and he wants to eat anything that <laughs> that I would accidentally drop on the floor. So I have separated egg yolk and egg whites. What next? Um, so we have to take three fourth cups of sugar. So we need 113 grams of sugar, white sugar. 64. Yeah, it's like double, almost double of this now, 130 grams. Hmm, it's okay. Now we're gonna pour it in the yellow box. Mm -hmm. And now once, after we pour it, now we have to mix it. So my friend hasn't done this in, with this machine. I hope we will be able to do it manual. So the color will change from that dark yellow to a pale yellow pale. and, and it, the texture will become creamy. So you know it's coming together. This is good. We can stop, stop it. Yeah. Wow. So we just need to check the consistency, right? Nikita told me that you need to have this consistency, like ribbon-like consistency. Now we're gonna wash it and use it again for white eggs. We have to whisk egg the whites. egg whites. Yeah. So we got the egg yolks and sugar mixed, and now we need to add a little bit of whole milk. Yes. Okay. How much do we need? Seventy-six grams. Okay. I'm gonna use the weighing scale. Teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, now we need to whisk the egg whites. We need to put 57 grams of sugar again. In the egg white before we start whisking it. Okay. That, that's why we do this, is because we have to make this cake very light and fluffy. Alrighty, so we have egg whites, we got the egg yolks and sugar, and we got the dry ingredients. What next? So now we have to mix uh, the flour okay. and the, the yolk mixture together. Okay. Okay. We have to actually, like you can put it first. Yeah, put it. Now it's like you have to mix it and make sure there are no, no lumps. lumps. Yes. So like first like gently mix it to make sure you get everything nicely. Looks smooth already. Yes. So we are almost there. As you see, there are no lumps. And we've scraped everything from the sides as well. So now we can mix the, the egg whites. Yes. Cool. Let's pour everything right in. Cool. Okay, now we have to, the whole point of why we did it is because we need it to be fluffy, right? Yeah. So you have to fold, like when you when you mix this now, it has to be folded. When you say fold, I'm not like mixing it like this, right? Oh. I'm literally folding it into it. So if to fold, right? Oh, this fold. Is a like I didn't know this. Because it, otherwise what will happen, you'll deflate the entire like fluffiness, fluffiness and what's I the point see. of it, right? We need the batter to be fluffy. That's the whole point of we mixing it like separately, right? Okay. So I'm trying to mix it in a way where we don't deflate it. Another thing is when we are mixing the, the whites with the last bunch of the mixture, don't over mix it. Otherwise what will happen is you will completely lose that fluffy texture and then the cake will be flat. I hope we haven't over mixed it, right? No. No, 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 if not. It's it good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like very, like, you know, light and fluffy. fluffy. Yeah. Wow. All right. 
so we have the dish here. Let's pour it in the dish. I hope I'm doing it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just we need to just evenly like uh, spread it out. We need to obviously cover the entire dish. What you can do is generally like to make it even, you can just like do this once, okay. right? Generally, and then like whatever is uneven, it will just be even. Okay. And now we can put it in the oven. Alrighty, time to heat the cake in the oven. Basically, preheated the oven at 350 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Right? And then um, now we are going to keep it for 30 minutes. It's generally center act is better. So this is better? Yeah, you can keep it there in the center. I'm gonna set the timer at 30 minutes. Wow, the cake is rising! So we have <laughs> kept the cake in the oven and now we're gonna wait for 30 minutes and we'll prepare the next ingredients. So let's say you don't like strawberries, so mm -hmm. you can also use other fruits, like you can use uh, blueberries, like people also prefer that, but I would say the best like flavor is with the strawberries. strawberries. Like okay. because strawberries and creams, as many of you know, is like, you know, the go-to. The go-to. So this is definitely a go-to combination. Okay, got it. We have the go-to combination. We have the <laughs> fresh, fresh strawberries from Costco. I'm gonna wash them. By the way, I got this strawberry with a stick this time. So let me clean this and I'll cut the strawberries and get the dressing prepared. Okay, now let me chop these. Let's check. Ooh. Got really big strawberries. Already 30 minutes are up. It's time to take the cake out from the oven. Wow. Wow. Looks so nice. <laughs> Okay. We need to let the cake uh, to cool off, right? Okay. Because it's really hot right now. Yeah. Once the cake is uh, obviously in normal temperature, then we will have to poke holes in it. Okay. And we will then make a mixture of the three milks, which is the special thing about this cake, right? Dress liches. Three milks. Yes. Evaporated milk, condensed milk and whole milk. Yes, yes. So, I remember that. <laughs> you know it too. Why it's called tress leches. Really. Yes. While it's cooling, we can make the mixture okay, of the come. three milks, yeah. which we'll use to actually pour on the cake. My Chiku loves to come in the kitchen. Yes. So that's the first milk, the condensed milk. So let me get the whipping cream out. It's in the fridge. So we okay. have to keep it cool. So I'm just getting it out right now. Sounds just good. Kidding. So now we have to make the mixture which will be used to soak the, the cake that we were waiting to get into room temperature. It's room okay. temperature now. So let's make the mixture. We're going to take this measuring cup and I'm weighing it on this weighing scale. We're going to take the whipped cream first. So right. one third cup, which is 76 grams. Okay, okay. perfect. And then two third cups, which is 151 grams of condensed milk. Okay, perfecto, 151 gram it is. Let's stir again. Okay, next. And then 350 grams evaporated milk. We put the whipping cream, and we put condensed, and then this put... Then where did we put whole milk? We don't need to put whole milk in this. Oh. Three types of milk, right? It's done. Whipping cream, condensed milk, evaporated milk. So now, um, just mix this a little bit so that it's all like mixed. Take another fork and we need to poke holes in Break the cake. The cake. Sounds good. So we need to make many holes so that we can... I can do that. Yeah. That's easy. Like lightly, right? Oh, lightly. I just keep doing this. So that the milk can be soaked in the cake nicely. And now it's time to soak the cake. cake. Wow. Time has come. <laughs> is going to soak all this milk. Yes, it has to get moist. That's where the texture and like 
when the taste of the cake comes it has to soak in all the milks that's why i live but was calling this cake as milk cake <laughs> am i doing it right mm mm-hmm. you just need to yeah just need to like make sure it's evenly like put all over okay good yep now we'll set it soak for 15 minutes so for making the whipping cream we actually need to make sure whatever container you are going to whip it in it has to be kept like it needs to be chilled for a bit in the freezer okay. so that your whipping cream uh, turns out to be good so it's almost like, been like 15 minutes that we yeah, have kept 15, this mixing bowl in the freezer minutes, yeah 15 30 minutes should be okay two cups of whipping cream take a little bit of sugar half teaspoon of sugar yeah and then little bit a splash of the vanilla essence okay it's just a splash now we're going to mix it oh this is cold Sir, I hope it's the same. Should not over whip it as well. So, see the texture. Check if your whipping cream is good. Is you see if it's dripping or not? It's good. So it shouldn't drip. No, it shouldn't drip. Okay. I mean, now I have like, but basically the texture you'll see, right? It's thick now. Yeah. It's okay. very thick. So yeah, yeah, it looks thick. So it took one and a half minute for us to whip in the machine. Usually it takes like two minutes, right? Yeah, with the hand mixy, yes. Okay. So with this machine, because it's a little more powerful, so it only took like one and a half minute. You have to make sure you do not over whip it, yes. Because then the texture would be like loosening. So right? you know, interesting fact. Yeah. Um, you can actually make a uh, makhan with the same, oh, uh, like obviously yes, without yes, sugar. Yes, yes. Yeah. If you keep whipping. It, keep keep whipping it, keep whipping it. You can actually make muck out okay. of it. I can do that one day. Yes. So yeah. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Now uh, let's put the whipping cream on the cake. So all we're doing is uh, we are trying to layer it evenly. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing. Too fancy, so we can add like any food color also, right? Yeah, to make it look exactly. pretty. Exactly. Yeah, you can add food color to it. You can add sparkles. You can add sp- like sprinkles. Like I, I have experimented with <laughs> decoration a lot because once you make it so many times, you are like, okay, now I want to do something. We have some left, so get it out. Thank you for making this with <laughs> me. Now I have this on record forever. <laughs> Now it's time to decorate, decorate the cake with strawberries. Yes. Oopsie. <laughs> so Ooh, like that. And you can do it however you want. Honestly, I just well. do it like this. Let it sit in your fridge for an hour, okay. and so and and that should be like more than enough. Everything is like covered. There's no spaces, and every piece gets strawberries because the you know the sweet and sour flavor of strawberry mm-hmm. in the cake is like really nice. It's ready. So the cake has been assembled finally, and uh, it's ready to go in the fridge. And you can keep it for an hour to thirty minutes, and then uh, it's be ready to eat. Okay, <laughs> now you know the recipe. Let's put it in the fridge. Let's do it. the cake has rested well in the fridge for almost 40 minutes and now we just can't wait usually you should keep it for like an hour or one and a half hour right so yeah it will let the milks soak in within the cakes and it will taste delicious now let's see how the cake tastes it is time to eat dressleches <laughs> Super delicious, guys! I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and comment down below. Bye.